The Honourable Member for Edmonton White Line. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. While wildfires continue to rage across the north of this province, it's certain that the condition of the people forced to flee their homes remains at the forefront of every Albertan's mind. It is a remarkable achievement that almost 90,000 people have been relocated as well as they have been. But I understand that some evacuees in the reception centres are unwell. To the Associate Minister of Health, what is the source of this illness and what's being done to combat it? Associate Minister of Health. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We are very proud that, thanks to a well-coordinated effort and cooperation from all evacuees, everyone has made it safely out of the danger zone. And now, ongoing health and support is our major concern. According to recent numbers, we've got about 105 cases of gastrointestinal illnesses at Edmonton Northlands and another six at Conklin Lodge. HS Infection and Prevention and Control and Environmental Public Health staff are on-site at Northlands managing the outbreak. Where necessary, patients have been transported to hospital while others are resting in isolation. Based on the advice of CDC expert, HS operations have been reorganized at Northlands to ensure best care. First supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and the Associate Minister for the update. Given that the mental health of evacuees, as well as others involved in responding to the crisis, is a concern, and one that will be felt for many weeks and months to come, to the same Associate Minister, what mental health supports are immediately available for the fire evacuees? Associate Minister of Health. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and to the member for the question. We recognize that supporting the mental health of evacuees and responders will be a fundamental part of the recovery process. Mental health workers are working at each of the reception centres, and anyone in Alberta can call the mental health support.